Hey YouTubers. So been a while since I've done a unboxing or reviewed any features on a stereo. In uh, this case we got quite a treat here. Um, this is the Pioneer Elite VSX-LX102 AV receiver. And if we look on here all the fun stuff this has. Um, it's compatible Dolby Vision, so for those of you that are keeping up with your TV sets, you definitely want to have a receiver that is compatible with Dolby Vision. DTS-X, which is uh, what top of the line there along with the Dolby Atmos. This sucker is uh, Wi-Fi certified. Bluetooth, which you would expect in these things nowadays. Chromecast built-in. Whoa. So, uh, that'll be, uh, that's pretty cool, um, if you've got a Chromecast. Now, it also works with, uh, the Hey Google, um, box or whatever, if you have one of those. Let me pause a second. So, if you have one of these guys, this is, uh, Hey Google, how's the weather outside? Right now in Hampton, it's 41 with rain. Ugh, the forecast miserable. tonight is 39 hey Google, with stop. rain. All right, so she is supposed to be able to control the stereo. So that will be uh, something to set up eventually. But all right, so um, I actually kind of skipped the uh, the unboxing thing. It was, the stereo is way too heavy. Um, but taking a look at the manual, and hopefully you guys can read this. Um, there is the front of it. And, you know, it has the, the stuff on there that you would expect. Input selector volume obviously there's a display um the one of these is the uh the microphone uh setup thing um this looks like an auxiliary input probably some kind of uh, stereo thing that you can plug in there's your bigger headphone jack and uh you know a lot of other stuff uh cursor buttons wireless indicator so a few things that I have uh, not seen um, on some of my stereos. I've got some uh, pretty decent ones, but uh, this uh, this has definitely got some new improved stuff. So there's what uh, eventually we're going to see uh, is out of the box. Came with remote control. It has the uh, microphone to do the setup. Obviously, there's stereo and the antenna ethernet cable um, I'm gonna, sorry that's the ethernet cable whatever that guy is there uh, 4 what is 4? 4 is the indoor FM antenna alright so on the box these are things we really care about um, this only has 4 HDMI outs which is kind of disappointing 5 or 6 at this point in life is kind of uh, necessary to be honest with you there's the antennas which are uh, you know kind of scary that you could possibly bust those off has one HDMI in or one HDMI out uh, these days I like to have more than one it's got a USB there and uh, all the uh, the speakers so this is a 7.2 channel stereo and uh, good stuff um, installation went quite easy. Let me grab the remote and uh, we'll take a look at it before we look at the stereo. All right, so the remote did come with batteries. Uh, those are already in there. But, uh, you know, you can see um, across the top there, Blu-ray, DVD, cable, sat, game. There's a network thing, the Bluetooth, USB, tuner, TV, CD. And then this will uh, control uh, going through the uh, the other ones that do not have buttons. Um, this is where, you know, it would be nice if they actually labeled some of these besides having a little picture. So, like this guy, number six, you know, most people know that's a home button. It's obviously back. Um, you know, these two up here, they actually did do. So that's cool. Big uh, volume button right in the middle. Mute button next to it. Um, some different surround sound um, selection modes 
And uh, if you're watching a movie through your uh, stereo via like a USB, you've got uh, some abilities to control that there. So that is good stuff. And overall, you know, the, the remote is uh, it's kind of thick. It's got a good feel to it, but uh, it is on the big side. It's kind of surprising these days that they would actually have such a big remote. All right, so there is the stereo. Um, it looks pretty good overall um there are uh, some that look a little little cooler but uh this is not bad at all um pretty happy with it high res audio and uh from the yep back side just so you guys get a peek at it of course it would have been better if everything's not hooked up but hey at least you see fiber optic coaxial um, there's some RCA's in there so yeah that's about it folks for this video please like please subscribe thank you